iOS 16 is now available for download and it includes a vast range of enhancements, including all new personalization features, deeper intelligence, and more seamless ways to communicate and share. There have been hundreds of feature updates and enhancements, so be sure to upgrade as soon as you can. To get access to the update, just tap on the settings, general, and software update. Of course, it's free and available to all iPhone users with an iPhone 8 or above. And if you've just purchased the brand new iPhone 14, it will come pre-installed. So having said all that, it's time to take a deep dive under the hood of this brand new version of iOS and have a look at what I think are the top five features that you really need to start using right now. The first one is a massive overhaul of the lock screen look and feel and functionality. This one is long overdue as apart from a new series of artwork, the lock screen has been very much the same for years now, but that changes in iOS 16. Let's take a look. Whilst in lock screen mode, tap and hold anywhere on the screen, tap on customize or tap on the large blue plus button to add a new home screen. You can choose a featured template, photo template, photo shuffle, weather and astronomy, emoji or collections or color. Once you select your basic template, you can then add widgets to your layout. This will appear under the large clock readout. I'll add shares, battery life and the clock widget to my lock screen. You can customize the font by tapping on the time and changing the font style and color. You can tap on the date section above the clock and replace this with other widgets such as weather, calendar, fitness or stocks. Once you've completed the setup of your new lock screen, tap on the add button on the top of the screen and select set as wallpaper pair. Your new lock screen will be added to the collection. You can set up a few lock screens for different uses and you can even tap on the focus button at the base of the lock screen to set a unique focus setting for each of your lock screens from do not disturb to work, personal and sleep. These focus modes determine how your iPhone handles calls and messages. So for example, if I go into a meeting, I can select my new lock screen with the do not disturb focus setting to ensure that I don't get any interruptions during that meeting. If you haven't used the focus feature before, you can tap on settings, focus and go in and set up custom filters for each focus segment. If you want to change to a different lock screen at any time, just tap and hold anywhere on the iPhone screen when your iPhone is in lock screen mode and scroll through your collections, tap on the lock screen you want to change over to and this will be your new lock screen until you change it over again. Next is a new subject select feature that appears in the Photos app. This is an awesome new feature that can be really useful for content creators or just for fun. It allows you to tap on an object in a photo it can be a person or an item of any kind, and iOS is going to make a cutout of that image. You can then tap on copy to copy it right into other applications, including Apple Notes or your messages, or tap on share to share it to your social media platforms or across to another device. The cutouts are not always perfect, but if you have an image with good separation from the background already, say a photo of yourself against a relatively plain backdrop, or an object that is clearly defined, the cutout is going to be accurate enough to use in your artwork. The next one is a small utility feature update if you like, and this is going to be great for those of you who find that you're continually running out of storage space on your iPhone. There's a new remove duplicate feature that finds all duplicate content in your photo library and gives you the option to delete the unwanted data to access this feature tap on the Photos app, scroll down, then in the Utilities section, tap on Duplicates, then tap on the Merge icon to merge the two photos into one, thereby deleting the duplicate image. The next one is live text in your photos and videos, now with the ability to translate. If you take a photo of anything with text in it, you can tap and hold on the text, select it, and copy it over to a document share it to another device or message it, for example. And now in iOS 16, you can even translate it to another language. 
is not just available on photos that you've already taken. You can actually access the new live text feature in your camera app as you're previewing the image on screen at the time of taking the photo. So this can be a useful feature for those of you traveling and wanting to translate a sign or if you want to take a photo of a physical document to make it editable you can now perform some pretty sophisticated optical character recognition with live text in photos and camera app on iOS 16. And as I mentioned, as a bonus, it also works with your video files. Next is the undo send feature that appears in your messages app and also in the mails app. This is great for those of you with a fiery temperament or those who tend to be trigger happy on the replies, no matter the occasion. Keep in mind, this is only going to work with iMessage and users who've also upgraded to iOS 16. So provided you're communicating with someone who has the upgrade, if you tap on the message you just sent, you now have an option to unsend the message. Now let's take a look at mail. If you're using iCloud mail, you'll notice that when you send an email, immediately after you send it, an undo send option appears at the base of the screen. If you tap it, your email is removed from the email inbox. It would have been great if it worked with other mail clients. However, if for example, you have your own business email, this feature isn't gonna work in that mail inbox. However, there is a catch to this, and that is that you can't undo the send after a certain period of time. By default, you get 10 seconds to change your mind and hit the undo send button. If you'd like to extend that a little bit longer, up to 30 seconds, tap on settings, scroll down to mail, scroll down to the undo send delay option and change it from 10 seconds up to 20 or 30 seconds. Or if you prefer, you can actually turn this feature off. Another related feature that works across all of your email inboxes in the mail app is the send later function allowing you to send emails with a time delay. This is great if you work late at night and don't want your email to be sent until the morning or conversely, if you get up super early and want to send an email during business hours. To send later, tap and hold on the send button and select from the options available. You can select send at 9 p.m., send at 8 p.m. or if you tap on the send later option, you can specify an exact day and time that you would like to send the email. Amazing, always wanted this feature, and now it's available right here on iOS 16. I know I said this would be my reveal of the top five features of iOS 16, but this next one is just so cool, I thought I would throw it in as a bonus. It's the new lock screen music player. You'll see this new player widget appear at the bottom of the screen. When you have music playing from the music app and your phone goes into lock screen mode, you can see the title of the track that is playing, the progress bar and controls for pausing and rewinding and forwarding. And there's a small icon showing you the artwork of the track. So you can interact with your music without having to get out of the lock screen. But hold on, it gets even better with this new music player widget. You can tap on the artwork icon on the left of the player window and now your album artwork fills the screen. It overrides your lock screen image temporarily and it cleverly enhances and blurs the artwork in the background. All of this not only provides easy access to your music, but also looks amazing, especially if you have some great band artwork in your catalog of music. So that's all for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed my overview of some of the amazing new features on iOS 16. For more tips and tutorials on how to use your iPhone, along with many other videos related to digital creativity, new product reviews, and all things tech, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. See you on the next one. Bye for now.